Um, I then went on to speak on a panel in Detroit, right? Mm -hmm. And out, it was at the Athenium Hotel, which is still there today. Yeah. And outside of the Athenium Hotel, these guys were standing around in a cypher and they were rapping. And I had Rhymefest with me. Rhymefest is a rapper from Chicago. Wow. He's actually one of the people that wrote on Jesus Walks for well, kind of... I -E West, yes. Exactly, exactly, which is kind of funny because he's Muslim. But anyway, mm. um, <laughs> I had Rhymefest with me, and he he said to me, you know, we were I, I was hungry. We hadn't eaten. We had driven from Chicago, mm -hmm. and then I came in t to speak on the panel. I hadn't eaten, and I was starving, and, you know, I'm, I'm a fat girl, so I like to eat. <laughs> and... We were trying to go to Denny's to have some lunch or dinner or whatever time it, of day it was, yeah. and um, I heard this kid rapping. It was it was a white rapper named Eminem, and wow. you know I didn't pay much attention because like we all know that you know white guys can't rap, right? Especially <laughs> back then in the early '90s, white white boys can't rap. And this is at Denny's, thing. right? It was a mess. And this is um, outside of the Athenium Hotel. Okay. I was trying to go to Denny's, oh. so I was in big fat hurry to get away from the cipher. Yeah. But Rhymefest was in the cypher, and he was rhyming with with M. And, you know, I, I, come on, come on, come on, I'm hungry. Can we leave already? Yeah. So um, Eminem hands me a demo. It was a tape, right? Remember cassette tapes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Ron, uh, he hands me a, a cassette tape, and we get in the car, and I throw it on the floor in the front seat. This is kind of an embarrassing story um, to tell. <laughs> I, 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 the, keep going, keep going. I'm going to, I'm going to, because like, I'm not shy, right? So I throw the cassette in the, in the front seat, and my mindset is food, because I hadn't eaten in like 24 hours. I was starving. Yeah. yeah. And, and this, uh, this is the Eminem demo that he gave you. Yes. Eminem okay. handed me his demo tape. And I and he threw and it I on the floor. Car, car. And Rhymefest is in the passenger seat, uh -huh. and I throw it on the floor of, of the okay. passenger seat, because I'm in a hurry to get to Denny's, right? That's all I'm thinking about. And yeah. You know, yeah. Cars in first. Gotcha. And Rhymefest is looking at me. And you know how when you're when you're driving, you I hadn't pulled out of the parking space yet, but you know how when you're driving, you can feel when the person next to you is like staring at you. Yeah. So I look at him. I'm like, what? And and it's like like he was shaming me, right? Yeah. But it's like I felt like I knew what it was about. Yeah. I knew it was because I didn't listen to the demo. And he's a rapper, and that yeah. matters to him, right? Yeah. And normally I would listen. So, to so demos. that's what really happens to the demos, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I just really wanted to go to Denny's. You were just hungry. So, uh, yeah, I so got. I, I, yeah. Felt, I felt. I was shaming. I was. I was like, <laughs> give, me the, give me the cassette. So I popped it in, uh -huh. and now we're moving. Right, we're into the first song, and I leave the hotel, and I get on the highway, and it's banging. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh my guys, <laughs> like it's banging. Can I swear? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking banging. It's like. <laughs> It's like like the best rapper I've ever heard. And at this point, like at this point in time, my favorite rappers were Rakim, uh, Rhyme Fest. There was a guy named Juice out of Chicago who was super lyrical with it. And I'm like, yo, this kid's awesome. So I make a U-turn across the grassy median on the highway. Kids don't do this at home. Yeah. I made a U-turn and I went back to the hotel and I'm like, get in. You know, I'm going to take you to Denny's and we're going to eat. So <laughs> we were able to spend some time together and and really and really bond, you know. Yeah. So you doubled back to get Eminem. Did I? <laughs> Dude! <laughs> wow. I, I got to salute you for that. I got to salute you for that. I floored it. I floored it. I couldn't get back there fast enough. Like, he's so talented. Yeah. So when I got back to New York... Like, I shopped him to every label, every label, every mm -hmm. label, every label. I had just done the Twisted deal, so the presidents at the labels knew who I was from the bidding war that yeah. had ensued from, from, from T's deal, Twisted's deal, and all of them were, were nervous to sign a white rapper, yeah. you know? So... Um, at that point in time, I was I was friends with the the guy that was writing um, for the source, mm -hmm. so we got him in. And Paul Rosenberg played a role in this. I don't want to take complete credit right. for it. Like Paul did an amazing job. In the and, ju and just for you, for you guys that don't know, Paul Rosenberg is Eminem's manager. Exactly. Still yeah. to this day. Yeah, yeah. To this day, yeah. I know. Paul. Um, and and we got him in um, in the source. And, you know, he started to bubble a little bit. We put out his own EP. They put out his own EP. I didn't play a role in that. Yeah. I was busy with Twisted at this time. Um, 
but he was really starting to, to buzz a little bit, uh -huh. and I was frustrated. Like, for nine months, I shopped this kid a deal, and not one label would, yeah. would sign him, and it just didn't make sense to me. Yeah. Mm. So um, I decided to do an event called Rap Olympics, right? Yeah. Uh, it was called Rap Olympics, right? It was called Rap Olympics, right? Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> <laughs> So um, Rap Olympics was an event in L.A. It was like a, a battle between teams. Okay. Instead of a battle just like mano a mano, mm -hmm. um, it was teams. And on my team, um, I had um, Quest the Mad Lad. I had Rhymefest. I had Juice. Um, Eminem. Uh, Thurston Howell III was on that team. You just spoke to him. Yeah, I love him. He's just that, he's such an awesome, 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 awesome motherfucker. Yeah, it's a little... Um, G Very, yeah, just really, up. Yeah, really a good Incredible team. lyricist too. Oh my god, yeah, and funny. Like really yeah. funny. He was part of my team. He was just Is he, he known was, as the Polo Don or something? He wore yeah, rocked yeah. all polo, right? He rocked all polo. He was known for rocking a lot of polo. Yeah, yeah. Life, absolutely. It was part of Low Life, which is a crew yeah. out of Brooklyn. I'll let him tell that story because I'll just yeah. fuck yeah. it up. Yeah. Um but yeah, he he led Low Life. Like he was the head of Low Life. Yeah, he's the Low Life founder, one of the founders. He's, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um and just a really good dude, like very legitimate, very authentic, you know, yeah. And, yeah. and just very real. and very real. Yeah, just a good dude. Yeah. Um, Facts. But we did Rap Olympics, and um, part of the prize for the winning team mm -hmm. was to appear on the Sway and Tech show, the the Wake Up show. Okay. And so you know the way I remember it, and and this is not echoed by um, Eminem's book. <laughs> right, right, right. But the way that I remember it mm -hmm. was that he was rapping on the Wake Up Show, and he'd been to the Wake Up Show many times. Yeah. He was like a, a, a favorite there. Um, Dre heard him on the Wake Up Show and went to meet with him from that. That's how I remember it. Oh. And wow. put him up in a hotel. You um, know what the I story is, I... right? The story is well, someone oh, handed yeah. Dre a tape. You know, Right, right. And, and, oh, what a surprise that it was Jimmy Iovine's nephew. Oh, my gosh. Maybe, you know, maybe maybe he did. I'm not taking that away from him yeah. because a lot of people were at Rap Olympics and they were giving out, you know, tapes. It's probably both things. You know when you got to, like, you see something one time and then you see it another time? Absolutely. It's, it, Absolutely. It takes, sometimes it takes two times. Consistency. Well, you remember, know. I had I had sent the demo to Jimmy's office, like, over a nine-month period, like, two or yeah. three times. So maybe it was the culmination of I'm that, thinking. but maybe it took his nephew saying, "Yo, this right. kid is something nice." And then, you know, and then, that. but then also looking back, like I've gotten this kid's tape twenty million times. Now my nephew's bringing it to me. Maybe I should take it a listen. Exactly, and and that's basically how it happened. Resist so persistence over resistance. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. After the Preach. after the Eminem <laughs> deal, and you know, I, I I didn't I didn't help negotiate that, but. Mm -hmm. I looked over the paperwork and I played a role in it. I okay. feel like I helped to negotiate it because there were things that I brought to the contract that I thought should be in it. Yeah. Um, and and it you being a good, a good person, do that. You know, like you Absolutely. don't want to see people get screwed. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, they gave me they gave me a plaque. They gave me the first platinum plaque that came off the line. Or Where is it? Said it was. Um, in my garage somewhere. Okay. I'm not. A plaque <laughs> Are you so you don't display plaques? You're not a big plaque I don't, person. Mm. I don't. Yeah. It's it's. It's not what drives me, Jordan. I, I'm more about the deal and the success. I'm yeah. not really about the accolades. Like, Most people like, would take the plaque and put a chain around it and wear it to the business meetings. Right. <laughs> Sadly, that's not lying. A lot of people would do that. That's, you know what Jay-Z told uh, DJ Paul? DJ Paul told me, he said, if, damn, if I won an Oscar, I'd wrap that motherfucker around my neck <laughs> walking around with that shit. <laughs> you know, because, you know, 3-6 Mafia is what one of the only groups to they win do. an Oscar, right? Yeah, they. I think they're the only rap group to win an Oscar. No, Eminem did too. Oh, he did. I, oh, yeah. For eight, eight miles, mile, right? Yeah. Okay, I didn't realize that. 